Welcome to the third video in the Drawing Template series. We will now cover some details about the sheet format. With SOLIDWORKS open, you will want to take a look at the file locations to see where your sheet formats are located. To do this, click on File Locations on the left hand side, and out of the pick list, choose Sheet Formats. Take note of the location. When you open that up in Windows, you should notice that you have a handful of files in there with the file extension of SLDDRT. These are the sheet formats. To take a look at the sheet formats, let's start a new document. I'll start with my ANSI millimeter template, and it will prompt me for a sheet format. For my first sheet, I'll choose the A landscape and hit OK. I'll cancel out of Insert Model View, and we can now start editing the sheet format. To edit your sheet format, you can right click in your drawing in some open space and choose Edit Sheet Format. It'll now make it so that all these entities are selectable. Let's change a few items and create a custom sheet format. For example, the second sheet might be different than the first sheet. I'll quickly select these items, hit delete, I'll draw a new line, and then we'll insert a note for the company name. To exit the Edit Sheet Format mode, you can either right-click on the sheet again and choose Edit Sheet, or in SOLIDWORKS 2010 and later, you can click on the Confirmation Corner and accept the changes. To save the sheet format, go to the File pull-down menu, and next to Save As is Save Sheet Format. I can now give this a meaningful name such as A Landscape Multiple Sheets and hit Save. Let's test this out to see how it works. I'll start a new drawing, choose my ANSI millimeter, I'll choose the typical A Landscape for Sheet 1 cancel out of insert model views and then to add a new sheet I'll click down here it'll prompt me for my new sheet format and in the list is my custom A landscape multiple sheets I'll hit OK and my sheet format for sheet 2 is now the customized one I can reuse this sheet format for as many sheets as I'd like to add to any drawing. So now sheet 2 and sheet 3 contain the, sheet for the same sheet formats and sheet 1 is a different sheet format. You can repeat this process for as many drawing sizes as, you, as you'd like. For example, if I close this drawing, start a new drawing, off the default templates. I could choose C landscape, hit OK, cancel out of model view, right click, edit sheet format, change, change any values that I'd like to in the title block, and then do a file save sheet format for a modified C size sheet. This concludes our third video on sheet formats. <laughs>